today I want to show you the ease of setup of the SICK PIM60 vision camera using the SOPUS engineering tool. It's a fairly easy product to set up and very user friendly. Um, if you have maintenance technicians or even engineers that aren't very familiar with vision, this is a very good product for them to learn with. Um, if you're looking to add more inspection, if you already have the PIM60, then this is very easy to add more to it. One good thing about this product is if you don't have the IP address written down, um, you can easily just connect to it with the SOPAS engineering software and it gives the IP address of the camera here so you can set up your computer. All we're going to do is double click. And the setup I have on this camera, I've got it around a foot and a half away from the workpiece, the workpiece being a Fuji circuit breaker. So there's the image. Um, with the software, you can automatic, you can manually adjust the gain exposure if you want to. But with the software, it's very easy just to push the auto button. It seems to work very well. I haven't had much issue with it, if any, really, to tell you the truth. Um, so once we acquire our image, then we're going to teach reference object. Now I'm going to grab an object locator just so we'll have something to reference all the tools off of so when we move the position of the object all the tools go with it now I don't want all of the writing on the inside I just want to um, reference off of the outside of that square so I'll mask out everything that's on the inside of it and it doesn't have to be perfect um, so what we're going to be looking for is the four rivets here on the edge of the breaker just to make sure that they're there so I'll grab the blob tool and I'll go around them and it'll find the center point and this is something I've just set up in a matter of seconds and you see how easy it is for the setup it does not take a rocket scientist or anything to set this thing up um, now if you want to look at the dimensions in between the two holes or the two rivets um, there is a distance tool here and you just click click just to make sure if your holes are staying in the same spot. Now you can adjust all of your tolerances on everything here. On the side I'm going to leave everything like it is. This is just for demonstration. So we'll run a live image and we'll see if we can make it follow everything around. It works very well. Um, I could probably dial into it a little bit better um, to make it a hundred percent but you see within just a couple seconds of putting a couple of these tools in there it works very well. 